Hi there. So for many places, the main story over the last week has been heavy showers and flash flooding. So I thought we'd start this week's forecast by again showing you the radar estimated rainfall accumulations map over the last week. And you can see a lot of variation in this map, a lot of different colours um, everywhere. So quite a lot of difference. There's been some very heavy showers and some flash flooding reported uh, going back to Friday and giving some examples. Norwich saw 50 millimetres of rain in some places and Peterborough up to 95 five millimeters of rain so a lot of flash flooding here and only yesterday um, many parts of the south coast saw quite a bit of showery rain at first in the morning and then we had some heavy thunderstorms developing into the afternoon across some southern areas and across parts of London as well so that led to 75 millimeters of rain across parts of Dorset and up to 100 millimeters of rain reported in parts of London so really quite a lot of rain a lot of impact from flash flooding but you can see you know there's a lot of variation over this chart those were only a few places that have seen heavy downpours over the last week and indeed there was many more places that did experience that but some places um, didn't even see you know 10 millimeters of rain so very locally variable those blue colors there indicating less than five millimeters of rain so it's been a real mixed bag over the last week and of course that does make conditions quite difficult to predict when there's so much local variation in the story it makes it quite difficult to manage people's expectations so it's been a challenging forecast over the last week but it does look like we have a glimmer of hope on the horizon we'll get to that in a minute first let's look at the jet stream so we've got a little cutoff area of jet just down here at the moment that's keeping that area of low pressure that affected us uh, yesterday just steering that really away to the south and the main body of the jet to the north steering areas of low pressure to the north of us as is usual for this time of year so that will allow high pressure to build for us so looking forward to something a little bit more settled on the horizon as we go ahead so taking a closer look at the forecast then for tonight we've got a few showers sort of lingering across central parts of the country and I think as we go through the evening those will gradually fade away we've got high pressure to the southwest here generally sort of ridging up from the southwest so starting to build helping to settle conditions down could be quite cloudy in some western areas at parts overnight we've got some weak frontal boundaries here and as we go through night we could get some low cloud mist and fog forming along the east coast now into tomorrow high pressure continues to ridge up from the southwest so generally a dry and bright day for many places which is great news there could just be a few isolated showers mainly across sort of the east midlands area these will be quite isolated so do keep an eye out for those but for many places a dry and bright day now as we go into thursday high pressure still ridging up from the southwest that's generally the story over the next couple of days the only one thing that we might just want to watch is this little area of low pressure across sort of the low countries northern france let's bring some showery rain to those areas there could just edge into southeastern places i think those places will probably stay dry but maybe one to watch if you're in those areas there but otherwise yep a dry and bright day for many places under that ridge of high pressure could have some thicker cloud along weak frontal boundaries at times maybe the odd spot of drizzle but yes most places will be dry with plenty of sunshine um, and then as we go sort of into Thursday yes so some northerly winds kind of developing as well forgot to mention that um, as we go into Thursday so another thing to mention um, could just be a little breezy at times which is important to think about um, it's good for drying conditions particularly if you're cutting your hay so that is a great thing and then into Friday high pressure now sort of to the close to the south of Ireland and as we move over those coming days generally drifting slowly north eastward so keeping things on the settled side of things plenty of dry and bright weather for many places as I said uh, just now breezy at times too so great for those drying conditions and also becoming quite warm into the weekend as well so it's really great if you're trying to cut some hay it does look like apart from the odd shower or spot of rain you should have some very good conditions on the cards for making hay but how about spraying if you're looking to do some spraying this is the ideal spraying condition so those green colors showing areas where it's dry with light winds that could be hampered at times where that breeze does pick up um, across parts of England and Wales but for many places lots of green colors there indicating those ideal spraying conditions maybe only one other thing to think of is uh, that it could be quite warm at times particularly towards the weekend so uh, those maximum temperatures in the sort of mid-afternoon may get slightly too warm for some spraying thresholds 
So if you do need further information on that, the best place to go is our forecast hotline. You can speak to our forecasters every day from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. calling 09065 777 and calls cost £1.55 a minute plus network access charges and will really help you to make the most of this settled spell of weather that we're expecting. So let's take a look a little bit further ahead then, the end of the weekend, early part of next week. And we can see that we've still got high pressure around to the north, so still keeping things settled in the same way as we're seeing over Friday and Saturday. So not too much change into the first part of next week. However, as we go into the latter part of next week, around the sort of middle of the week, there are hints in some models that we could get an area of low pressure pushing up from the southwest, bringing a few sort of spells of showery rain, maybe some thunderstorms storms to southern and western areas so the risk of that at some point in the middle of next week so do keep an eye on the forecast for that but it does look like high pressure will not be too far away still centered out to the north so keeping northern parts a little bit more settled now I'm taking a look at the chance of a dry day. You can see that brilliant signal there across um, the next several days, quite widespread really across much of Britain with those brown colors indicating a high to a very high chance of a dry day. And we've got a nice long spell of those. So perfect if you're looking to cut some hay, it's a really good uh, chance to do that. However, as we go into the sort of middle part of next week, we start to lose that signal, particularly across sort of, um, sort of western and southern areas there um, where we're starting to see those green colours indicating a lower chance of a dry day so perhaps that area of low pressure moving in and bringing some spells of rain in places not so bad if you look towards sort of eastern areas here and sort of the northeast of Scotland where colours are sort of closer to white so that medium chance of dry day sort of somewhere in the middle suggesting things might not be quite so dry but not quite as wet as sort of western areas here. And then as we go a little bit further ahead, generally sort of staying the same, those green colours generally becoming confined to sort of northwestern areas where it does look like it could be wettest, while sort of southern areas, southern and eastern areas, generally sort of uh, those white colours, so medium chance to a high chance of a dry day with a few brown colours in there. So high pressure sort of close by, but I think it could be a little bit of a mixed bag of conditions as we go sort of later on into the month. So taking a look at the monthly, wrapping it all up together then, we can see for week two we've got this area of higher than average pressure expected to sort of become centred across northern Europe. So the idea that it's sort of drifting its way northeastwards while we get this area below average pressure sort of starting to push slightly closer to southern Britain. So maybe giving us some spells of rain there at times, which you can see reflected in the precipitation anomaly across southern parts there. You can just see a hint of those green colours there indicating things might turn a little bit wetter but otherwise the rest of sort of Britain you can see those brown colors across northern areas so still drier than average here with high pressure close by um, and across the rest of Europe indeed so we've got uh, Iberia with those drier than average conditions as well and again across Scandinavia where that high pressure is expected to become centered drier than average here with just a few wet and average conditions uh, where the upper low becomes centered over here Taking a look at the temperatures then, this is the uh, air mass temperature ensemble forecast for Birmingham. We can see at the start of the week we're um, starting off quite close to average, which is that dotted line there. But as we go into the weekend, as you said, the air mass temperature is sort of increasing. So temperatures building as we go towards the weekend, sort of peaking around the weekend cone time before as we go into week two, so the second week, starting to drop off a bit, coming back closer down to that dotted line, that average line there. Um, and maybe even by sort of the beginning of week three, starting to get even a little bit below average, so closer to or um, maybe sort of slightly above, slightly below average by the end of that period there. And you can see this reflected in week two, as we said, starting off the week with conditions, uh, temperatures above average, indicating by those red colours there, maybe turning slightly closer to normal by the end of the week. But for most of the week, temperatures will be above average and indeed the same across much of Europe as well with those red and pink colours there. Looking into week three, we do lose a bit of those strength in the signals, so much weaker signals as we go into week three. The general idea, though, that pressure will be above average, you can see those sort of pink colours there and there, so indicating that we've still got higher than normal pressure across parts of northern Europe, but further south, the flow will be sort of much slacker, not too much in the way of sort of strong signals for above or below average pressure. So I imagine it will be quite a mixed bag. You can see we've got a lot of those green colours, but also some areas of brown, um, so indicating wetter and drier than average conditions quite mixed up across much of Europe there. For us, sort of a bit closer to home, wetter than average conditions across sort of southeastern areas there. 
but sort of closer to or maybe slightly drier than average conditions further north. And in terms of temperature, still looking like temperatures will be sort of higher than average, still in those pink colours, um, and indeed across sort of northeastern areas where that has been the story for the last couple of weeks, maybe returning slightly closer to average in the southeast there, indicating by those white colours. Then finally into week four, not too much in the way of change as with the previous week, still sort of a slight signal for high pressure across parts of northern Europe, um, but really not too much in the way of strong signals. And again, quite a mixed bag as well, sort of mixed areas of green and brown, indicating a mixture of wetter and drier than average conditions, so quite locally variable for many places. And indeed, no strong signals at all, really, across Britain in those white colours there, indicating conditions will be quite close to normal. So some dry intervals, but some spells of rain at times too. In terms of temperature, still hanging on to those above the average temperatures across northern parts of Britain, but I think southern areas will return a little bit closer to average, and maybe even slightly below average in the far south at times, close to this area of below average temperatures across parts of France. So to summarise, over the next uh, week or so, it will be turning nice and settled, feeling warmer towards the weekend as well. Plenty of sunshine, but as we said, also breezy at times. So great drying conditions if you're trying to make some hay, which is brilliant news. And into the beginning of next week, high pressure will remain close by. So that's great. But as we go into the middle part of next week, we are expecting to see an area of low pressure come up from the southwest at times. So maybe returning to something slightly more unsettled from the middle of next week. And as we said, with those weak signals, we really don't see much sort of confidence as we go into the end of July and the start of August. So it's looking like conditions will be a bit of a mixture. Generally, maybe drier than average uh, across northern parts of Britain, where it looks like high pressure will be closer. But do, do we do expect quite a mixed bag. So thanks for watching this week's Weathercrest Farming Forecast. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us a comment on Facebook or Twitter if you'd like. Thanks.